Hello and welcome back to part 13 of my Witcher walkthrough. I apologise for yesterday but my mic broke. I hope that this new mic is much better and will work fine this time. In the previous episode we were looking for a gambler which we still have yet to find. So I'm hoping he will be somewhere in here. See he's a gambler. Hmm, maybe not. I'll wager your luck excels at dice. I have my ups and downs. I propose an honest game. I might just take you up on that. I could tell you're well traveled. It's a true honor to play a man like you. I'm a witcher. Aren't you afraid I'll jinx the dice? I'd rather lose to someone worldly than beat an ordinary sort. These farmers only wager cabbages. A hunter once frequented this establishment, but I haven't seen him in ages. I think you've seen the last of him. He enjoyed high stakes, but was unlucky at dice. He was unlucky in love, too. If you say so. A silver sword mean anything to you? Silver sword mean anything to you? Why do you ask? I don't have time for chit-chat. Take no offense. Where did you get the sword? I want it from the gardener. Where can I find him? The garden at St. Lebioda's Hospital. Okay, thank you. So now we need to go to the hospital. Lock the door. Let's check the map to see where the hospital is. The hospital's here. I thought that was Trish. So now we go up the stairs. Uh, through this little alleyway. He won't let me in there, will he? There you are. Let's see if I can talk to this guy to come in. Okay, I can just walk around. This hospital garden demands a caring hand. You seem to like what you do. Like it? I love plants and know them well. I spent my life dealing in bloodshed. Now's my chance for peace and quiet. Bloodshed? It's no point of pride, but I long earn my living as a mercenary. Those times are behind me now, and here I am content. I'm more interested in the silver sword. I'm more interested in silver swords. I knew one of you would come by eventually. You lost it playing dice? I was sure I'd win. Beware the sharp one plays well. Where did you get this sword? Five years ago there was a battle near Brenner. When the dust had settled, our men had beaten the Nilf Guardians. We ceased to call ourselves an Imperial Province that day. You captured the sword during the battle? Yes, it was Witcher Cohen's. A strapping fellow and a rare breed. Not very talkative, mind you. Like most of us. I gave my word the sword would find another witcher. As he lay dying, he mumbled about teeth and destiny. Then he laughed at his own death. Yet you lost it gambling? I kept it hidden for five years. I lost hope I'd ever run into another witcher. Miss Shani knew Cohen. She works at the hospital. Thanks. Good luck on the path. Um, see what you've got. Mm, not enough interest. So now I need to talk to. Yeah, it's not even showing. It's over here. It's a Shannon's house. The elder races inhabit this district. Dwarven craftsmen and elven artists. Dwarf. So, same. Elf. What a day. The Escalopian snake. I'd love to meet the fool who associated skin shedding with medicine. In here? 
Welcome. Make yourself at home. You're a pretty looking one, aren't you? Old age is no jest. Huh. Let's see what you've got in here. Welcome. Make yourself at home. That's what I was doing. Pork and uh, bun. You know what? I'll have to thank you. In your cupboard. I'll just take that. And then this one. Welcome. Make yourself at home. I said I would thank you. This one. Right. Let's see what you'll say. Welcome. Make yourself at home. I think you just walk around repeating that to people. I think she has that old timers. Welcome. Make yourself at home. Okay, I don't think the lady's here who I need to see. I reckon she'll be working at the hospital. Either that or I had the wrong place. No, it's the right place. No one listens to me. What she want? Say something! Does Shandy live here? Does Shani live here? Yes. They send you from the hospital? You certainly look ill. Gods are punishing you. Yes, I'm from the hospital. Yes, I'm from the hospital. You can go upstairs, just don't force yourself on the girl. Yeah, I'm not like that, Grandma. She's not here. Definitely not here. I think I'm going to have to find somewhere to sleep and then come back when it's dark. So now, where can I go to sleep? Blacksmiths, Dwarven, a herbalist. Nope, let's go for the inn. Here we go, the inn. Oops. So now we go all the way back to the inn just to sleep to make it night time. Because she's not in her house. And because she's not in her house, it means we can't carry on. You bring trouble. I try not to bring trouble, but I admit sometimes I do. Sorry, kid. I didn't mean to hit you out the way. Society made me what I am. Good for you. Hmm, maybe not. Hurry, Baron! Okay, where are you, barkeep? I need to rest. Damn it! Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. It's okay. That's fine. I'm um, got any rooms? rooms? Five or yes, I'll sleep. I think nighttime is normally a good thing because in that way they'll be in bed. Hit me, chicken. I need to rest. Well, that barkeep store was good. Welcome, dear. Do have a cup and keep an old woman company. I need to I go. Need to go. Stomping into my home like that? But. Oh, I don't like this old lady. What's she want? Say something. I'm here to see Shan Shani. I'm here to see Shani. She's busy cleaning and doesn't have time for vagabonds. I have an appointment. Didn't your mother teach you better manners? She'd not forgive herself for raising such a monster. 
but... Oh, again, you silly old lady. Why are you attacking me? Stupid assassin. You dare challenge the Salamandra! Well, how else am I meant to get my Salamandra on toast? So they don't sell Salamandras in the shop, do they? Right. How much will you pay me for putting you to sleep? Ooh, eight. And a Fizzintech. A drug. Sounds very interesting. Thank you. So not any better. Oh, please be nice, old lady. Welcome! Make yourself at home! Oh, thank you! Goodness! There she is! At last! How did you find me? You said you'd stay in Vizima. Ah, right. I work in a hospital. I didn't want to disturb you. How'd you get past the old hag? That nice lady downstairs? She's made my life hell. Girl your age should be married. Old hag should have died years ago. Old people are like that. Yeah, and there's some more. Old people are like that. At least my rent is low. Doctors earn little in Tamaria. Many leave. You stayed. Someone had to. Anyway. Yes? Shandy, I want to ask you something. Shandy, bye. Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm-hmm. I heard you saw Cohen shortly before he died. That's right. How did you know? I found his sword. He died during the battle at Brenna, on my operating table. You were a medic at Brenna? I worked alongside a surgeon named Rusty. Best doctor I ever knew. Knew? He died when the Catriona Plague erupted, in Maribor. Though a halfling, he could operate like no one else. He made everything seem simple. Stitch red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, and everything will be all right. Ugh, you wouldn't understand. Sorry, Shani, I didn't know him. Do you know anything about this sword? No, but you should ask the dwarf, Sultan Chive. His knowledge of weapons is unmatched. So from you, I now need to go see a dwarf. Thank you. Um, let's just check. I should speak with Taylor about his dealings with the Salamandra. Uh, I should visit Shandy and ask, but maybe she could use a hand. I should talk to... So, yep, yeah, let's go talk to this guy. Oops. Oh, don't catch me, old lady. That old lady was mad. Right. Oh, it's not on. Let's just track this quest, yes. Okay, we now need to go to the hairy bear inn again. Ooh, jolly good. Let's run back to the Hairy Bear Inn. You know, for a bing, for a inn called the Hairy Bear, I haven't seen any hairy bears in there. Okay, a poor woman, a bandit, bandit leader. And my favourite drinking place. Right, I need to see a dwarf, I think it's said. A thug, a thug, a messenger. Let's see you. Welcome, traveller. I hear you buy jewellery. What if I do? Tell me who paid for the salamandra badges. Or your own mother won't recognise you. Tell me who's paying for salamander badges or your own mother won't recognise you. Shove off. Okay. Shove off. I'll come back and torment you later then. A thug, a thug, a thug. A traveller. <laughs> you fight like a lass. Okay. No, I spoke to you too. The guy who I'm looking for is Zolan, and I don't think he's here. 
So again, if Dang I sleep until it. the morning. Whatever. Any room? Five or. Okay, morning time. Here we come. Right, let's look for this little guy. A dog growling. Nice. Uh, nope. Uh, no violin little drummer. Nope. My Another thug. A thug. Boozer. Thug. There you are. Oh, it's you. Richard. Zoltan Chive, good to see you. You got inside the town okay? Plenty of work for a witcher in Vishima. It seems so. How did you manage to get in? Nasty non-humans will always find a way to sneak into human homes. True enough. Listen, Zoltan, I wanted to talk to you. Yes? Um, what do you know about my silver sword? What do you know about my silver sword? What, me? A simple dwarf? Shani insisted your knowledge of weapons is unequaled. All right. Silver-plated blade, a steel core, suited to a two-handed grip. Decent workmanship, not perfect. I don't know runes for shit. Thanks. No problem. You're not very good, are you? I'm looking for work. I'm looking for work. Monsters are threatening the landing in the swamp. Everyone keeps complaining. Who should I talk to about ridding them of the danger? Contact Luvarden. He's usually on the dike, supervising the loading and unloading of goods. Thanks, Zoltan. Thanks, Zoltan. Yes? How are you doing? Got a minute. Farewell. 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 I own a true witch's sword yeah. primary quest. So what does that mean? I should go to dike where I can expect the merchant to have a job for me. No old friend of mine. I should visit Shanti. Which is secret. Well I reckon that I will leave this episode here and in the next episode we will go see Shanti and Shandy in the hospital. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.